Having a roast dinner really reminds people of home. For many families, it's at one time that everybody gets around that dining table. At Toby Carvey, we see ourselves as home of the roast. We are experts in creating amazing roast dinners. All of our vegetables will come in fresh. We buy the very best meat, we buy the big joints that we slow roast, and we're famous for our Yorkshire puddings. We like to think we've got a great relationship with the Armed Forces. We offer free meals on Armed Forces Day, and today we're joining up with the Royal Navy on board HMS Northumberland to see how they create that home away from home experience at sea. It's going to be massively different for me. I'm interested to see how these guys work. I'm looking to learn a lot from them as well. We're hoping just to show them a couple of Toby twists just to make those meals a little bit more special. HMS Northumberland is a Type 23 Duke class frigate. Her role is uh, predominantly anti-submarine warfare. We've been on operational exercises for six weeks, both at action stations and at normal cruisings. Food is extremely important to a crew. A ship runs on its stomach. Hi there. Oh, James. Uh, I'm Chef Mitchell. Welcome to HMS Northumberland's main galley. Now we need to prep for 200 people for roast dinner, uh, and we've got five hours in order to do it. So this is the uh, meat section. What, is, yes. what meats are we offering today? Uh, we've got roast beef, roast pork and roast lamb. Every Sunday, guaranteed, ships across the world are having a roast dinner on a Sunday afternoon or a Sunday evening. So some of the tricks in Toby, we, yeah. we make sure we bloom our meat for a minimum of four hours first of all. We then load them in these ovens, we cook really slowly and then obviously letting them rest at the end is a sort of key step to get yeah. perfect beef. Yeah. Being prepared is massively important. Timing is a big part of cooking. I hear that you're famous to take yeah. for a certain size. Famous for our seven centimetre yeah. Yorkshire puddings. Do you mind if I have a go? Yeah, help yourself. Fantastic. There you go. So, right. trick to Yorkshire's is making sure that you've got really, really hot oil. Add your batter to the oil, get them in the oven as quickly as you can. Beautiful. So you've got risen really nicely. Yeah. You've got a nice hole there, which is perfect for pouring gravy. Yes. And I think it's probably not far off the seven centimetres oh. there as well. What they deliver from that, that, that small galley that they got here is pretty amazing. The trick is to give them a real good ruffle. Yep. So you want to shake them up, you want to make sure we break the edges up. And then that will give us a really nice crisp roast potato. Cool. Yes, that goes in the oven. Yeah, very, very nice tip you've uh, shown me there. I was really impressed with the quality of the ingredients. Obviously they're out at sea, so they, they don't get deliveries three times a week like we do in Toby Carvery. Yeah, got Brussels sprouts. You got some honey going through there, have you? Yeah, some honey in there, some olive oil, salt and pepper going through there. These guys do exactly what they can with the ingredients they've got. So now we're getting closer to service time. Okay, as, you, as, as you can see, it's manic the time frame in which we have to serve. That's probably the biggest thing. It's probably the different areas we have to be at the same time. It's wow. in 45 minutes. There's always that added pressure on any chef trying to get squared out on time. We're all good to go? Yeah. As soon as that shutter opens, you've got a queue of people there waiting for the food. The roast dinner means so much to these guys. Beef, uh, lamb or pork. They work so hard, they're up early and they, they really look forward to their meals. So it, it's great to see how happy they are. A lot of people are away from families and stuff like that, so it gives that little sense of home feeling. You get a nice hearty meal down you and everyone feels warm and it's like a family type feeling. It's probably the closest food you get to being at home. Some great comments coming out. It's, it seems to be the meal that they all look forward to. It reminds them of being at home, it reminds them of their family. A roast dinner brings back so many good memories. A really good roast dinner is just like having a great big hug on a plate.